after analyzing the bone logs, Yasna confirms the presence of humans in the area. She also discovers the potential location of the hideout. Hello and welcome back oh. to the Invincible. You don't need to be afraid. I, I come in peace. Oh, save it. I guarantee you'll have time to talk later. What? Just keep your mouth shut for your own good. Okay, stay calm. He's going to lead you to his superiors, which is good in theory. Although... Wait. Don't move. You didn't even spare the Arctan. Got some nerve to unleash such murderous shit. Hey, don't turn around. Do you need any help? You're a scientist, just like me. Yes, but what are you doing? You don't shoot at people. Shoot. He has a gun. I'm a technician, <laughs> smartass. Firearms or chemical weapons. What's the difference? Same outcome. Look, I know that people have died. Your comrades, but you have to understand. I don't know what you want with us. You will answer to the Astrogator. He will determine whether there's room for understanding. That's right, obviously. It's really not necessary. But if you try anything, I'll do it. I'll shoot you. Yes, sir. I don't know what you're trying to do, but he sounds serious. There has to be a way. I don't know what will happen to me. Huh? What did you say? Quiet, Yasna. Don't take any chances with him. He's a talking to me. I'll ask the questions, you just answer with a short yes or no. Is there anyone else? Uh-huh. So he's not alone. Are others close by? <sighs> Start, damn it. Uh-huh. Why can't I hear any other people? Nuh-uh. Hang on. There's no one else after all. Or maybe just not people. When it rains, it pours, huh? Uh-huh. That's surprising. Do you have some alien there? No, of course not. No. -uh. Got it, of course not. That's why I'm betting on a humanoid robot. Uh-huh. The electrobots have already been phased out. So it must be one of the art hands. A model with a small head pressed into the body. One of those so-called porters. Theoretically harmless. But due to its tremendous strength and potential reprogramming, you best be careful around it. Come on. Uh, do you want to tell me something about this man? Something about his appearance, maybe? Uh-huh. Ah, does it concern his outfit? Uh-huh. Which part? Oh, you just had... Legs? Torso? Head? Uh -huh. Is about his head? What could be so unusual? Uh, I don't suppose you can see much since he has his helmet on? No. Really? No helmet? Uh -huh. That's why I can hear him so clearly. It's... If he's been without it for a long time, with these levels of oxygen and methane, he must be a lunatic. It works. Let's go. Break time's over. I can hear something's happening. Keep it up. Straight ahead. And where is he taking you? Do you think you could ask? No. What? Quiet.
Get in. Go, Yasa. Stay calm. Go. Yasa, I'm here. I'll do everything in my... Sit here. And don't you dare move. I have something for you. That's even more than we need. too. What about our friend? Still cranky? Uh, I've always thought the speleologists weren't exactly the funny types. Although, Spliskus the speleologist sounds pretty damn hilarious. Come on, you must be hungry. Gus, my friend, it's just me. Take it easy. You're safe. But you have to eat something to have strength. Oh, gee, don't do that. It's tasty. Eat. Come on, eat. Did you like it? Very nice. A few more. Unfortunately, I don't have any good news. I've searched the caves. I know Dr. Magdov went down there. If only you could tell me which cave she worked in. Maybe it would be easier then. If only you could. Sebulon has also gone missing without a trace. I don't even know where to look. And the whole convoy crew. I'll go there tomorrow. Maybe by then, with reinforcements. And it went smoothly. And he objected so much. Strap you. I'll be broadcasting. 
And you, mind your own business. Hello, Bridge. Rohitra speaking. <sighs> Rohitra. Can you hear me? Over. You're still not getting through. This is an urgent announcement. It's the 26th day of the mission, 1300 hours, 42 minutes. I am reporting the presence of Commonwealth units on the surface of the planet. I have arrested one person. It's a woman, unarmed. I haven't noticed any other people or other units nearby, but this person was in active radio contact. I'm requesting backup, over and out. Hey, Milos. Hope you're still in range. Listen, the Commonwealthers are here. I have one of them, uh, a woman. She was talking to someone on the radio, but I didn't see anyone around. I see what you're doing. Uh, I just wanted to sit more comfortably. Yeah, sure. Better get comfortable with discomfort. We'll sit around for a while. My name's Yasna. Mm, not that I'm asking. You're Rahitra, right? <clears throat> I work as an astrobiologist. Brother is a spy. Don't eavesdrop on me, Yasna. Don't talk to me. I, I just wanted to ask. Don't ask. <laughs> uh, so what now? Uh, talk to the wall? <laughs> I'm not prohibiting you from doing that. Yet. You've been camping here long? Uh, are you shielding yourself from the flies? Uh, from what? Flies. Y you named them that yourself. I mean, the Alliance did. Mm. Seems to me that the commanding staff will have a lot to talk to you about. Fortunately, I don't have to. Do you have air filters here? Did you know there's methane in the atmosphere? I know. These tanks are a temporary solution. I suppose you often go out for supplies. Ugh. You won't stop talking, will you? Well, there's nothing else to do on this wretched planet. <laughs> True that. We've been waiting for backup for more than should be here soon, so I advise you not to have any stupid ideas. You look like you've been here for at least a month, but fine, I'll play along. <laughs> I have no reason to lie to you. Wait, Condor? Condor what? You. Are you from Condor's crew? Yeah, so? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> here we can agree, you're talking complete nonsense. What do you mean? How come that's such a revelation? This is your flagship. If we'd known there was a ship of this class here, we would never have landed on Regis Three. That was not our mission. There you go. Will you finally admit what you were up to here? I'm from the Dragonfly, a small research unit. We're looking for planets with rich flora and fauna. That's the only reason we landed here. <laughs> no way. This planet is a complete corpse. According to estimations, it should be teeming with life. With its atmospheric composition and insulation, it should be a veritable paradise. We couldn't have predicted that- Fine, fine. If you don't want to tell me the whole truth, then don't. But do not lie. Uh, do you smoke? I would if I hadn't run out.
The part about being scientists is true, but we were supposed to see what you were doing here. Or rather, what the Invincible will do here in several days. That makes no sense. The command center has no reason to send a second cruiser to this sector. And yet, they sent you. Hell no. We stopped here by accident, due to work on the main core. I don't understand anything anymore. Neither do I. But I know what's wrong with your comrades. The same thing happened to our people. How many of you were there? Six people. Only two of which are still unharmed. Including you. Me and our astrogator. Is he around here too? I'm the only one left on the surface. So... Not many. I told you. We're a simple unit. Here's the rest. Gorski, a cyberneticist, a golden child. Serious beyond his years, yet full of youthful curiosity. He miraculously survived. I gave him my oxygen. Then the lander picked him up. Now I don't even know what state he's in. That doesn't sound like a miracle to me. Huh? What? You saved him, not some dumb luck. Marit, a geologist. Her mind's as sharp as a razor. She's tough on stupidity like no other. She's... She was a dear friend of mine. Krauter, a chemist. Second in rank to Astrogator. What happened to his mind is tragic. Knowledge was everything to him. So, he lost... Everything? Yes. Kovel, our physicist. He's unresponsive now. Always had a gentle nature to him. And a rather peculiar sense of humor. Show them to me. There were more of us. Much more. Milos left for Condor with the survivors, those who were unable to, to do anything, really. I stayed to see if anyone else survived, and so we wait. What a shame. When was the last time you had something to drink? The last time? <sighs> I don't even remember. Thought so. It's water. <laughs> Local, but treated. Go ahead. You must be thirsty after everything you've been through. <sighs> Thank you. Oh, I needed that. <sighs> Me too. Been silent for nearly two whole seconds. Very funny. I know what caused it, and how. This planet is inhabited by microbots that your scientists have called flies. Millions of microbots. A real cloud. What? A cloud of flies, which can literally erase the human mind, wash away all memories. That sounds... <laughs> can you prove it somehow? You'll find everything in my journal. The course of events. Pictures of the cloud. Should I throw it? No, that's enough throwing. We'll do as follows. I'll give that astrogator of yours a message, letting him know you're alive. Then, I'll read your journal, and in the meantime, you will get some rest. Been through a lot. Take my bedroll if you want. Rahitra, you don't mind if I play with your probe? Well? Okay, okay. Take it easy. Rahitra, are you sleeping? I'll take that as a yes. Where are you? And why were you looking? Hmm.
antenna must be outside. The sedative. Does he serve it to them in the food? Or does he take it himself? you get here the commonwealth what are you doing here come on stop pulling my leg it's not funny Rahitra. <laughs> if anyone's joking around here hang on how do you know my name For crying out loud we met yesterday you really don't remember i is this some new trick of yours damn commonwealthers go on answer me uh, put that thing away we both know the blaster doesn't work you told me about it yourself. And about the man you killed with it. Fuck! I know that you're waiting for help from the Condor. Doing everything you can to take care of Spluskus and Lendor. I know what's wrong with them, and I'm guessing something similar might have happened to you. Can you somehow... Let me finish. You have my journal. Everything is in there. Are you talking about this? Yes. Read it. And I... I'll wait some more. So, have you read everything? I've read enough. Take it. Hey, hey. It's going to be fine. We'll make it. You're Dr. Yasna, right? Yasna is enough. Okay, Yasna. I have a favor to ask. Someone needs to go and find Milos. If that cloud really damaged my mind, then we don't know how much time has passed. In fact, I don't know anything anymore. I'm worried he's not back yet. Don't worry. I was thinking the same thing. I'll leave right now. And you wait here with the guys. Thank you. There's a rover down below. You must use another exit. A hidden one, so to speak. It's over here, behind me. 